Hey guys, welcome to PC Perspective. I just wanted to take a few minutes here. We wanted to go over uh, a new networking product we're going to look at, introduce a new writer for PC Perspective, and kind of tell you a little bit about uh, the background of a new type of technology we're going to start reviewing. Uh, first, we've got to welcome Chris Barberry. Thanks. Yep. Nice to meet you. Chris Barberry. Nice to meet you in person. Drove all the way up from uh, <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina, yep. not solely to meet us no, here. No, I had some travel I had to do anyway. With so. Um, so we're going to start reviewing networking-based products at PC Perspective. And uh, the first one we're going to talk about uh, in our series and one we're going to talk about today is actually a collection of products from Asus, but probably the feature product of which is the RT N66U router. So this is a, a dual-band wireless gigabit router. Um, you get to spend a lot of time with this. Yep. Several different ASUS adapters, both USB and PCI Express based. Mm -hmm. um, but first, let, give me a little bit of background on how we are testing these products. Like, What kind of quick overview of the suite right. are we using? Well, we looked at a, a bunch of different test tools out there that we could use. Um, and we settled on some basic stuff and some a little bit more advanced stuff. We're doing general ping tests just to check different connectivity. Okay. Um, we're also using a tool called LAN Speed Test uh, by Totusoft um, that does reads and writes from one machine to another. Okay. Um, that will give us minimum, maximum, average bandwidth speeds. Um, and what's nice about that is we can use that to basically calculate out all sorts of stuff. Um, and then additionally, we're testing in multiple locations. So we'll do a test three feet away, we'll do right. one halfway across the house, and then we do another one, what I call a torture chamber, where it's the laptop or machine <laughs> is shoved in my laundry room. Right. So. And so, you know, we give those different um, scenarios, I guess we'll call that, because mm -hmm. everybody's wireless experience is going to be a little bit different, right? right? The scenario we have in our office here versus the scenario we have at, our, at my house versus at your house versus mm -hmm. at Ken's house or whatever it happens to be, they're all going to be slightly different, and we can't cover absolutely every case, right. but we, you know, based on best case scenario, standard scenario, worst case scenario, right. essentially is how you've laid it out. Right, and what we try to do to ensure that there's not any, you know, outliers that throw the whole test off is we do seven runs for each test, mm -hmm. drop the highest and lowest, and then average the other five. Okay, all right. And um, so starting with this review, what we did is we looked at this particular router, which actually if we, if we switch over this other camera, we can show... This is the uh, RT N66U. Uh, it is a it's a nice looking router. Yes, just aesthetically, it, it's got a cool uh, finish to it. Um, it kind of has the the triple antenna. Is this uh, designation of a three by three? Yes. Router at that point. Uh, it is four switch uh, four port switch gigabit Ethernet on it. You got your WAN USB. They're going to use that for um, the two high speed USBs. Storage. You can use for all sorts of stuff. Actually, there's okay. uh, some good stuff built in. So give me a, a brief overview of what you liked about this Asus collection of hardware, not just the router, okay. but the, the USB device. Well, for the router, I mean, the first thing that, that hit me was the firmware is great. I, I yeah. mean, they've done an excellent job on it. We're all used to the old firmware. You log in, you see your late, links this page with, you know, yep. all these IP addresses and just a lot of stuff that most people really wouldn't understand. They've laid it out really nice and clean. It's nice to work through. You can click through stuff, get to it real quickly. And the status page, when you first right. dump in, shows a lot of stuff. Um, and there's some interesting features, too, right? Yeah. Like additional, that as opposed yeah. to just kind of reworking what you would already right. expect, but new stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, some of the stuff that they had, which I thought was pretty cool, was that, you know, with the USB ports, there's a lot of capabilities built in. So mm -hmm. you can do... Um, kind of like the old Pogo plug device. Right. Yeah. You can plug a hard drive into it. You can share it locally. You can share it to somebody else online. You can stream from it from somewhere else, which is kind of nice. Yeah. You can actually hook up a 3G or 4G modem to it. So if your WAN link goes down, it will automatically kick over and use that as your backup. Okay. Um, so there's a, a some nice features users. with the USB. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about some of the things like, uh, did you try, we, we didn't try any wireless printing, but it has that feature? Yeah, it's got a print server built into it. That, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool stuff, yeah. as long as, as, obviously, as long as your router and right. your printer are in the same yeah. general location. So, uh, in our full review that we wrote up, Chris, Chris went over and, and looked at all the firmware and all the different settings. One of the things that I'm interested in is you can get activity monitors and, mm -hmm. and there's uh, child um, kind of protection Yeah, there's, there's, uh, you can set up guest networks. You can have up to six guest networks, three mm -hmm. on each uh, spectrum. You can have uh, parental controls are built in. Uh, there are tons of different things with... Um, monitoring your bandwidth. Right. You can do it by hour, day, month, 
or we, I think week as well. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the only thing I didn't see was it didn't look like it stored it on a month to month or you know gotcha. a long term basis. So if you're one of those people that's stuck with a bandwidth cap, mm -hmm. you get kind of stuck with you know you can't really tell how am I doing against that. Okay. All right. Um, so in terms of if we if we we looked at the features, we looked at the performance. Uh, this is our first kind of full-fledged networking review at mm -hmm. PC Perspective, but we, we compared it to what I think many people would consider the highest end, maybe not the highest end, but the uh, most well-received dual-band uh, router mm -hmm. on the market, the, the Apple. Yeah, router. yeah, the Apple Airport Extreme. So uh, what did you see in terms of your network performance testing on those Well, two? for wired speed, of course, it, it worked. Very well. I mean, to part of our test suite, we actually connect two machines up with a crossover cable to get the absolute best speed okay. we can get. And that was about 750 megabits per second. Okay. At running the wired uh, speed test through the router, it was actually like two or three megabits per second slower. That was about it. Okay. All right. Um, for Wi-Fi, it, it worked pretty well. Uh, I definitely beat out the Apple in all the tests. Um, it depended on the route or the adapter that I was using. Right. Um, in a lot of cases, one of the uh, ASUS routers that they gave us, the USB N66, worked really well. Okay. Uh, they also gave us the USB N53 that was okay, uh, and then a couple of uh, PCI uh, Express adapter versions right. that were so-so. Okay. Um, we also used an Intel Centrino. Uh, mini PCI card in a laptop for comparisons. And yeah, it's good because that's that's something that I think a lot of people will either mm -hmm. already have in their notebook or kind of think of as the standard right. as well. Now the the USB N sixty six is interesting. It is the it was the only three by three. No, the Centrino was too. Right, right. But it right. was the ASUS three by three kind of an external USB. Yeah, and that device. one uh, is interesting because it's got a, a strange shape. When I first pulled out the box, I mean, it yeah. looks almost like a spaceship. Right. Um, and I, at first, I thought it was a gimmick. It's like, okay, there's they make it kind of funky looking. They right. say it's gonna, you know, it'll help receiving, and it actually does. Hmm. There's a, a switch on the back that you can go from standard power to high power, and that actually seems to help when you're hmm. at distance. Can um, you think of any reason why you would not have it at uh, high power? Well, believe it or not, I actually saw that when it was the adapter was like three feet away from the router. It was actually worse at high power. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know if maybe it must it's just be some kind of pushing out there. too much yeah. or, or what. Interesting. So the, the 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 article that Chris posted not only looks at the RT N sixty six U, you looks at the USB N sixty six, USB N fifty three, compares the Centrino, compares the Apple Airport Extreme, all yep. that kind of good stuff. Uh, are there any other bits of information you want to include here before we point people to, to go to the review? No, I, I mean, overall, I think it was it's a great router. Uh, I mean, it's about $160 on Newegg right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think it's worth it. I, I mean, it, a lot of people just buy whatever router they get their hands on it at yeah. some big box store and stick or it in the closet. Or they're still using the ones that their ISP gives them. Yeah, exactly. we're not um, going to do anymore. No. So, I mean, if you are in the market for a, a router, this is definitely good. Uh, and as for the adapters, if you're in the market for the adapters, the USB N66 is pretty good, and I think that's around $60 yeah. right now. Uh, we have some other products we're going to look at soon as well, both from ASUS and not from ASUS. We have the, was it the EA N66? Yeah, we have the EA N66, which is also an adapter and access point uh, okay. device. We have another router, which is the uh, RT N53 U, I believe. 56U, maybe. 56U. Yeah. We have a couple of uh, a couple other ones from some other vendors. Right. Uh, we have some Netgear and, and a few others. Yeah. We've, so. we, we've got a collection of routers we're going to go through on this, too. So yeah. we just wanted to use this video as both an introduction to our networking stuff. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, feedback, uh, make sure you go to Chris's review of this, of this story. Uh, of these products and leave a comment there if you have say hey I want to wonder if maybe you can include this or hey yeah. I saw you included this but if you change this you might get more consistent results we're we're definitely open for feedback it's something we're we're just kind of getting into and starting out with so yeah and I mean we included a, a big description on the testing methodology we're using so you know as Ryan said if there is something you'd like to see tested differently or, or elsewise let me know cool thanks guys thank you